I'm Jason Epperson, this is RV Miles, and it's time for this week's RV and Camping News Roundup. This episode is sponsored by the Togo RV app, offering checklists, maintenance reminders, and more. The app is free, but a $39 per year Togo RV Plus membership gives you RV-specific route navigation, the R Village social network, OvernightRVParking.com, and Road Trippers Plus, along with a host of discounts on RV products like tires and lithium batteries. You can get $10 off Togo RV Plus with the code RVMILES10X. Over the past several months, many of the RV manufacturers have been making moves to shore up their supply chain to avoid future issues like the roller coaster of parts and material availability they've been dealing with since early 2020. And the world's largest RV manufacturer, Thor Industries, just made a big move. Thor has acquired Air Excel, a company you may not have heard of, but they make many of the parts that go into a wide range of RVs like Coleman Mach air conditioners, suburban furnaces, water heaters and stoves, Max Air fans, Aqua Hot hydronic systems, Dicor roofing products and sealants, MCD roller shades and more. Air Excel supplies products to many non-Thor manufacturers, so it will be interesting to see how this shakes out. Thor specifically pointed to solving supply chain problems in the press release, so one could imagine that if there is a supply chain issue in the future, Thor brands could be supplied first by Air Excel. That's not to say that there aren't other major manufacturers that make all of these types of products, but the ramifications of this news are all the buzz in the RV industry at the moment. And speaking of the RV industry, RVIA, the organization that represents RV manufacturers, released its quarterly report earlier this week forecasting that by the end of 2021, total RV shipments could be around 577,200 units, a 14.4% increase over the current comparable record set in 2017. Given those numbers, they're projecting RV shipments in 2022 will top out at over 600,000 units, which is crazy. According to President and CEO Craig Kirby, production in 2021 continues to be unlike anything the industry has ever seen before, and he believes given the growing popularity of RV travel, plus experienced RVers looking to upgrade their current rigs, RV production will only grow in 2022 and beyond. Despite a skyrocketing growth in units produced, the RVIA does caution that 2022 will see lower RV shipment growth rates than 2021, due to supply chain issues, inflation, rising interest rates, and slowing economic growth projected for later in 2022. I suspect it won't be until next winter that inventories on dealer lots get closer to normal, if they ever do. A few new RV models were recently announced focused on wildly different but forward-thinking design. We talked recently about new RV manufacturer Ember who planned to build off-road style trailers. Well, now there's another new brand building in Elkhart. Encore RV. According to RVBusiness.com, Encore's first product line, Rome, will target the lightweight adventure trailer market with a twist. The Rome series is 100% wood free. Every Rome trailer has a lightweight, fully welded, all aluminum frame and chassis. The floors and interior walls are composite, while the cabinetry is manufactured using CNC laser cut aluminum. Now, Winnebago's new Rome, which is spelled the right way, is a Class B camper van from the company's specialty vehicles division. It's designed with a wheelchair lift and many other accessible features optimized to help people living with mobility issues get out and travel. You can learn more about Winnebago's Rome as I'm joined by Director of Winnebago's Specialty Vehicle Division, Robert Kim, on this week's episode of the RV Miles podcast. Next up is an all-electric RV from the creative minds over at Sylvan Sport. The North Carolina-based maker of eclectic camping trailers and gear recently announced the development of a 100% electric motorhome line called Leading the Charge. To accomplish this vision, Sylvan Sport is partnering with Zeus Electric Chassis, makers of a fully configurable electric work truck. The electric RV will feature technologies focused on eliminating emissions, waste reduction, water recycling solutions, and more, all designed to make off-grid camping more accessible. The two companies have set their sights on a 2022 release date. Supply chain issues continue to rock the truck world as GM, Ford, and Ram announce plant closures due to the ongoing chip shortage, which, according to a story by the Associated Press, has taken a turn for the worse. 
On Tuesday, Ram announced a one-week shutdown of its Sterling Heights, Minnesota plant, home of the Ram 1500. General Motors announced Thursday it would suspend production at eight of its North American plants over the next two weeks, including two plants that make the top-selling Chevy Silverado pickup, and Ford will stop production of pickup trucks at its Kansas City assembly plant for two weeks as well, and shifts will be cut at two more truck plants in Dearborn, Michigan, and Louisville, Kentucky. The cuts dig deep. Automakers report that U.S.-based dealers had just under a million new vehicles on their lots in August, 72% lower than the 3.58 million in August of 2019. The popular RV rental organization Outdoorsy has launched an initiative as part of its disaster relief program to help victims left homeless by Hurricane Ida. The devastatingly fierce Cat 4 hurricane that tore through Louisiana and parts of the Gulf Coast before making its way east, causing widespread flooding and destruction as far as New Jersey. Working with its partner RV Housing, Outdoorsy is calling on its community of 40,000 plus RV owners to make vehicles available to those affected by the storm. RV owners interested in getting involved with relief efforts, particularly owners of fifth wheels and travel trailers, should visit outdoorsy.com slash list your RV to fill out Outdoorsy's temporary housing intake form. I'll link to the website in the description. If sharing your RV is not an option, please consider giving to any of the numerous organizations assisting with disaster relief. Abby and I continue to keep all those devastated by Ida in our thoughts. With fires raging across the state of California, the National Forest Service has closed all 20 million acres of national forest to the public for the next two weeks. That's one-fifth of the state of California's landscape. Citing safety concerns and strained firefighter resources, the closure, which began on Tuesday, will extend until at least September 17th. As of this recording, the Caldor fire has burned over 210,000 acres and is only 29% contained. The Dixie fire has burned over 800,000 acres and is 55% contained. In one of those Here Hold My 1996 Dom Perignon Rose Gold Champagne bottle valued at $49,000 kind of moments, German-based manufacturer Volkner recently debuted its $2.4 million motorhome complete with a slide-out garage capable of holding a $4 million Bugatti, because why not? The interior features hand-laid exotic wood veneers, cream-colored paint and upholstery, and natural wood casing for the massive speakers that accompany the $354,000 audio system. Makes Dimble's $2 million motorhome, complete with Ferrari storage, featured on last week's video, look like Lone Star's Winnebago from Spaceballs. They must have hyperjets on that thing. And what do we got on this thing? A Cuisinart? That's it for this week's RV and camping news. Please hit the subscribe button if you want more of these. And remember, likes are free and they help a lot. Here's last week's news video if you missed it. And here's a great video that you haven't checked out yet.